All right, we're going to look at reducing the polys on a model. Uh, what I have here is just a real quick Lego brick model that was created. And we're going to look up the poly count and the vert count real quick. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to hit 7 on the keyboard. And the viewport that we have selected, you'll be able to see the polys, which is 9,292. The vertices are 4,640. You can actually turn this on on every viewport that you want just by selecting the viewport and hitting 7 on the keyboard. The way we're going to optimize this, what we want to do is we want to reduce this as much as possible without changing the shape too much. Uh, so we still want to maintain as round as possible these pegs that are on the top and the square on the bottom but we need to reduce this. So we're going to go over, we're going to select the model first. We're going to go over to our Modify tab. We're going to go down to Pro Optimizer. And we have a lot of different options here. The ones we're going to look at now are going to be this optimization level. Now the first thing we're going to do is hit Calculate and you're going to see uh, it's going to do some calculations depending on how complex your model is. This may take a little bit of time. And when it gets done, it's going to tell you the, the before and after points and the before and after faces. Now the faces are going to be our polys, so 9,292, that corresponds with the polys. And the vertices are going to be points, which are 4,640. It starts off with a 100% vertex, and the way we're going to reduce this is we're just going to grab this bottom arrow, click and drag, and we're going to pull it down. And we're going to pull it down until we start seeing significant changes in our model to the point where we, we don't want to stay at that point. So we can start, we can already start seeing a little bit of changes in here. So right in here we've got some flat spots. So we'll move it up a little bit until we get rid of those flat spots. Everything else looks pretty good. And so we'll leave it there. So we, we reduced it from 9,000 polys to 5,000 polys. We'll right click convert to editable poly and this is ready to use with a, a lot fewer polys in it. 